this situation. But, but surely it must bother you, Mr. President, that two years ago you ran such a euphoric campaign with things like Hatupangwingui, and 22 months down the line, your state house is surrounded by the military. The military tanks, scary as they are, are rolling on the streets of major cities. And as we sit here today, people are saying Ruta must go. Surely that is such a fast slide. There must be something that causes one to pause and say, how did we get here? What happened here? And one would have expected an earth-shaking statement tonight that tells the country, I get it. Something has shifted in a major way in our country. And I'm also shifting as your president who's listening. And this is the new direction things are going to take. Let me tell you, um, uh, Joe. I came into office at a difficult time. Yeah? We have a combination of coming out of COVID. We have a serious drought that hit our country. We had interest rates that went up everywhere. We went into a very difficult situation. What did many countries do? Many countries went and defaulted. And I don't want to mention countries because it's not right to mention. But almost eight countries in Africa went down. Many people expected Kenya to be among the eight. But believe you me, I have carefully managed the economy of Kenya. Kenya is not among the countries that have defaulted. In, if, if anything, we have running programs in Kenya. We have a whole housing program that is running. We have a whole digital program that is running. We have made changes in our education. We've hired more teachers. We've made sure that our, uh, we have a new funding model for our universities. We have supported our farmers. We have reduced the cost of living. We have done many things, even in the context of all the challenges that we have had. I am telling you, I came in and I believe I'm the right person to be in this space when Kenya is in a difficult position because I believe I am the person who can sort out the challenges that faces Kenya at a point like this. But, but when the public and the protesters, the Gen Z, some of who actually formed the base of your election campaign mm. are telling you we are disappointed, you've not delivered. Hashtag Ruto must go. What do you tell them? Let me tell them the following. Good friends, the young people of our nation, my sons and daughters who supported me to win the election. I hear you. In fact, I saw, I think it was on your headline, a gentleman from my village who was saying the president has let us down. Many children in this village are not getting jobs locally. That is why they are going abroad. Little did he know, my good friend from my village, that the children, the 500 of his colleagues around our village are actually part of my plan on export of labor. They have actually, I intentionally supported them to leave the country because we got them jobs outside Kenya. So I am telling the young people of our nation to be patient. Our housing program is rolling. We will be hiring more architects. We will be hiring more engineers. We will be hiring more professionals to support our housing program. By in the next two years, we will have 300 maybe a uh, thousand people working in that space be patient we are sorting out the challenges that are facing our digital space we are rolling out our digital space mm. young guys by the end of next year god willing we will have a digital hub in every ward in kenya because we have already started that process every tivet in kenya today has an ict hub with young people monetizing their talent. I want to tell them we are full speed into manufacturing. That is why we're saying we're no longer importing clinker, we're no longer importing steel, we're no 